Hey you guys, Editing Gerard here. Before you guys continue watching this vlog, this mini vlog, I wanna thank my 13, I have 113 subscribers. Thank you guys. Keep watching, um, comment, interact, all that. Back to the vlog. All right, so I just have on corduroys, a black sweater, and I might can tuck this sweater in and wear a belt. I think I might wear it on the brown side just to uh just to make it a little bit more casual. All right. <laughs> All right, let's turn it over to the black side. That might look a little too crazy. Actually, I think I, I, I like this. Um, all right, so I'm going to a Black History Month event. It's at one of the, I think it's at the Historical and Culture Museum downtownish area. Um, so that's where I'm headed. Uh, shoes, 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 shoes. The attire was business casual, right? But I didn't want to be taken too serious. So I'm wearing my own sneakers, uh, these corduroys. My corduroys, uh, which are polo, blazer, or were sports coat, polo. Uh, the sweater is J. Crew. And this is the final look. Let's go. Jerry! <laughs> I made it. Nicolette! <laughs> Aunt Coco! And he taken out his whip. And he whipped her till she falls. Catherine was born in 1858. She was the middle of the three Drexel sisters. And that's why I am who I am today, because of my experiences and education at St. Francis de Sales High School. All right, so I just got back in the house from running errands. I'm not too sure how I feel for these polo Oxford shirts on myself. Um, I always like them on other people, but I don't, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to search for another brand. I strongly encourage that you all are wiping down your groceries uh just people are so nasty you have the butt scratchers you have the nose picker which i'm both right but i do them at special times you know i do them in the comfort of my own home um i also anyways tmi people are just so nasty yeah just sanitize disinfect all of that I have these really good looking chips from the Fresh Market. So I'm gonna try these out. Um, I also picked up these, um, I ran out of multivitamins. So I went by thumbnail. I went by Whole Foods and picked up, I always pick up different brands of uh, 
multivitamins just because I'm not loyal to a specific one. Um, and I like to try, there's so many different brands out there. I like to just see what's out there. So today I picked up the Smarty Pants capsules, men's formula, of course. What's great about this, it's a multivitamin fruit and vegetable blend with omega-3s. So I also recently ran out of, no, 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 no. Uh, I was using the Iwi, Iwi Omega 3s. Um, there were so many in here. I like these and I, I really like the company and what they stand for. I ended up not taking them all. Um, <laughs> ended up not taking them all and they expired. So I have to throw these away. The fact that these already have Omega 3s built in. I'm really excited about that. That's less vitamins that I have to think about taking. So if this works out for me, that should work out for me. All right, it is Thursday, the following day, and I'm headed to another dentist office to see if I can get these Invisaligns. Let's go. Richmond, Virginia orthodontics. I made it. So I got a little goodie bag from Richmond, Virginia orthodontics. Let's see what's in here. I hate tissue paper, I hate it. When people try to make things fancy, they always throw like tissue paper inside. It's just like, it's unnecessary. All right, so you get a little bag with the little mug, which I actually do like. I have to make a decision. So when my teeth bite, like, so when I bite down, both of my teeth meet at the front instead of the instead of the overbite so they can correct my bite but in order to do so they're saying that they would have to either shave the what is it IPR they would have to use that shaving method they they're saying they have to shave down my front teeth right and that's a huge no, like non-negotiable, no. So I was like, all right, well, can you just shave down, um, pick a tooth in the back and just shave it down versus touching my front teeth? And they're like, no, your front teeth are better candidates. I'm just like, what? So, uh, or they're saying, they can make space appear somewhere, straighten my teeth, and once my teeth are straightened, then they can go in and do some sort of like cosmetic work to fill in the gaps. It's just, it's just too much. It's I just feel like they're I, like, sh I, just, I just don't feel like shaving down my teeth or having to add on to my teeth is necessary to correct my bite. But I'm not a professional. Um, I've heard horror stories and I just don't want to, I just don't want there to be any mistakes. Tonight is taco night. Um, so we're gonna open these guys. In one of my Christmas vlogs, I uh, I talked about these and taco holders, like they're extremely useful. So I decided to keep it or rather purchase one for myself. All right, let's put these to the test. I got my vegan chicken, which I've already cooked up. 
I got my rice and corn. I also have the mango pineapple salsa. I've also added avocado. Iceberg lettuce for the crunch. Our blue corn taco shells. And hot sauce. Enslaved Africans, captured in what is now Angola, arrived in Virginia. You guys are not going to believe what I found at Trader Joe's. Look at what I... <laughs> Okay, so I just woke up a, f a few minutes ago. Um, so I'm gonna wake myself up, but I found this at Trader Joe's. And of course, I'm going to try this stuff out for my subscribers, my fans. Spring is amongst us, which means we really need to uh, take sunscreen a little bit more serious uh, as we should year round. Um, but uh, with that being said, I went to my local Trader Joe's and I went up to the front desk. I'm like, hey, where is the daily facial sunscreen? Everyone was sold out. They were like, keep checking in with us. It was really popular. We're gonna reorder it. And two weeks later, it's here, it's in stock and I'm gonna try this out for you guys. So this is their daily facial sunscreen, SPF 40. Before I try that out, um, I am I would say this is probably still my number one and following extremely close to that would be the UV 400. They both sting if you get this product in your eye. Um, I know when I reviewed this one, I said it didn't, but if you actually get this stuff in your eye, you may, you will most likely tear up, okay? But those are my two favorites by far. All right, so this was about $8 and some change. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I really enjoy the texture of this. I'm gonna purposely get this stuff in my eye and see if I feel any burning. I would say the burning is at a one. Uh, wait a minute. 
the burning is at a one. It's not bad at all. It's like a one, it's like a one and a half two. The burning is not, uh, wait. I would say the burning is at a five. On a scale one through 10, the burning is at a five or six. Whereas these are like an eight or nine. Uh, but it's not horrible, it's not too bad. The texture is incredible. It's like, uh, I can't explain it. It says it's fragrance free, wait. This stuff is uh, starting to burn more and more. You actually don't need a lot. It is in a smaller bottle, but you don't need to use a lot to get a really nice coverage on your neck and face and hands. Um, this product will burn if you get it in your eye. Keep that in mind, okay? Um, and the texture is probably my favorite out of the two. Um, love the texture. And this is still, I'm, maybe I'm a little biased. This is still my number one. Because of what they say this does. You guys, I don't know. These are all like extremely great sunblocks. Right. It says that it's fragrant free but it definitely has like, when you're first, when you're applying it on your face, there's uh there's, it, there is a fragrance and it, it smells really good, but it's fragrance free. And I can't wait to continue using it and giving you guys a future update on this product and how it's working for my skin. Time sprung forward, so I'm really being affected by it mentally, physically. Um, I, I am excited for spring. Uh, to be honest, I'm tired of my eyes tearing up whenever I go outside in the cold weather. That sunblock feels, uh, the sunblock feels really good on the skin. The texture, it's like a, like a dry, but not gritty, like a dry satiny liquid. You have to try it out. It's a really cool consistency. Uh, I'm headed to the coffee shop, of course. And then I'm going to the grocery store then I have to go to work. So yeah, that's my day for today. <sighs>